Ghostbuster, Blues Brother, and now Wine Connoisseur. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton, and welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with Dan Aykroyd. I just want to know, how did you get interested in wine originally? I was at St. Pius uh, the 10th Minor uh, Preparatory Seminary for Boys on Fisher Avenue in Ottawa, Canada. I noticed how the priests really liked that white wine, you know, so afterwards, usually uh, we'd clean up and my friend and I would take a little sip of the Coli Albani or the Lacrima Christi, and so I developed a taste for sweet, you know, uh, sacramental wines, and then the Manischewitz, the Mogan David, and then of course in college, you know, when you take a girl out, the Matus Rosé, and then, uh, you know, the New Beaujolais, when we went down to New York City, uh, uh, Lauren would uh, take us out, Lauren Michaels of Saturday Night Live, take the cast and writers out for the Nouveau Beaujolais. And then when I got to uh, being uh, on the Blues Brothers, got to make the Blues Brothers in California, uh, Steve Cropper, my uh, guitar player, was an expert in wine and he ruined my taste forever now. So How about distilling? Am I mistaken in thinking that you're involved in that? I went to my girls, I called my girls, I said, girls, you know, your college fund is sitting there at no interest. Let's go into the vodka business. So the family enterprise is now the uh, great and unknown and outlawed here and in other places, Crystal Head Vodka. You can't get it everywhere. We, we speak of it very reverently. It's based on the 13 Crystal Heads. It is the cleanest vodka in the world. Uh, they don't sell it right here right now, uh, but it's made in Newfoundland with the Newfoundland Aquifer water and no additives, no impurities in it at all. World's cleanest vodka now. Where are your vineyards? Right off the uh, Queen Elizabeth Way in Beamsville, uh, Ontario, near uh, Lincoln and Jordan, right there, uh, there are four vineyards. The grapes will come from there and also, if we need to, secondary and tertiary growers in the neighborhood there. So we're supporting the agriculture, the local industry, you know, and I'm making a nice wine. I'm, not, I'm making a nice wine, a nice ice wine. I'm making a nice wine here. I'm confident that the value's in the bottle because we're in a very tough market for wine. Not today when you can buy a $60, $70 bo uh, bottle of Bordeaux for $25. I better be selling something here for $14.95 that has, you know, some merit and value. So we know we have it in the bottle, we're confident, or I wouldn't be here. 